Hi right, guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous and I am seriously talking it over the top beautiful day. Here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm on this absolutely glorious day to be an earthling. Bugs in a Jar Farm on this gorgeous, it is a Saturday afternoon, September 16, 2023, and I have a new load of lovebirds heading in, so I uh, just need to do a quick rant while I keep my eye out for oncoming tourists, and... I guess I'm going to take this rant myself. My that little eco pussy over at uh, at that other channel did a rant recently on uh, this fellow on medium.com he found recently named Mike Grindle. Mike Grindle and I am proud to see that Mike Grindle is not a breeder. And he has a long, excellent essay at medium.com. Uh, and I will put the link on here. You can read this yourself titled, Saying Never, the Stigmatization of the Voluntarily Child-Free. Why society takes issue with those who say hell no to children. Yeah, so this is a long, involved piece. Uh, just uh, this, this intelligent man who he and his wife uh, made the greatest decision you can make that's not to breed, and of course have spent their uh, their entire marriage uh, fending off clueless morons, uh, giving them shit for making the single most responsible and intelligent decision that any couple or any individual on the planet can make. And that is do not bring another fucking human being onto this shithole planet. You clueless fucking moron. So anyway, uh, good for you, Mike. Uh, preaching to this very small choir. And I'm just going to read the uh, just a few paragraphs out of the middle of... Uh, of this, uh, okay, this is a long, involved story, all right, I'm just going to pick it up here, further analysis published in Sex Roles, a journal of research, suggests these perceptions may tie in with societal expectations. The results indicate that most people, most clueless fucking morons, I am so glad I am not most people, view parenthood as a moral imperative for men and women. And the study author, Dr. Leslie Ashburn Nardo, notes how, quote, perceiving the child-free people as less fulfilled acts as a way of punishing them, close quote, for violating social role expectations. But is there any truth to these presumptions? Are the childless less happy? To answer that, we might start by turning our gaze away from the child-free and towards Clueless fucking moron breeders. So what is the parenthood paradox? Take it away, Mike Grindle. 
our pro-natalist society is quite clear on one thing. Having children will bring untold happiness and joy into your life. We're not only told this, but genetically hardwired to believe this unadulterated horseshit. But for a long time, social science has been informing us of quite the opposite. Instead, the uncomfortable truth for clueless fucking moron breeders is that having children is more likely to reduce your overall happiness and make your relationships harder. Take the research headed by Mike Lumen that found that life and relationship satisfaction decreases following childbirth, and that, quote, due to the continuing decrease in the subsequent years, relationship satisfaction after childbirth is permanently below its pre-birth level, close quote. Another study, and he has links to all of these studies, Another study published by Gene M. Twenge and their team found similar findings commenting that data suggests that, quote, marital satisfaction decreases after the birth of a child due to role conflicts and restriction of freedom. Close quote. <clears throat> Other particularly fascinating research headed by Daniel Kaufman and analyzed uh, that analyzed the daily activities of women and their reported happiness. As it turned out, time spent with children was pretty far down the list. Some of the mundane activities that the surveyed women found more enjoyable, you know, than spending time with their little bundles of joy, watching television, preparing food, and, of course, shopping. The, dis the disparity between what our expectations are are of and the reality of parenting is the crux of the so-called parenthood paradox. This is New York Magazine contributing editor, author, and mother Jennifer Senior. Quote, we assume that children will improve our happiness. I have never assumed since the day I was born that children would improve my happiness. But anyway, I don't know who the we is. Don't throw me in here with this woman. We assume that children will improve our happiness. That is why babies are called bundles of joy. But what is so interesting is that one of the most robust findings in the social sciences, and it has been this way for about 50 years now, is that children do not improve their parents' happiness, close quote. So are the depressed work-obsessed and cold, childless, actually happy, free, and warm? Should every parent be jealous? Well, it's not quite that simple, as while the social stigmas the childless face are often misplaced, the effects are still very real. So he goes on for there. And, uh, as I say, you can read this excellent essay yourself. 
Uh, and then he uh, closes with links to all of these other uh, anti-natalists. So uh, we have 700 thumbs up. I'm going to make that 707. Uh, there is... Oh boy, well I did that. And now I really screwed up. Uh, I have no idea how to get back to the comments. Why did I ever do this? I have no clue. How do I get back to the comments? And uh, anyway. Uh, there's some, uh, <laughs> I wanted to find this. I wonder if it was already pulled down. It wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, huh. I'm wondering, guys, it looks like the comment by... Collapse Chronicles was pulled down by, I don't know if, oh, wait a minute, no. Nope. I'm hoping that isn't a client. Anyway, this is what that little eco pussy over there at Collapse Chronicles had to say about this. <clears throat> Amazingly, the comment is still here. For going on 64 years, I have been proudly, fiercely, unapologetically, and vociferously child-free, child-less, child-unburdened, and child-unshackled. Breeders are the single most selfish pricks on the planet, and breeding is certainly the number one way to destroy a planet. Breeding is ecocide, period. Breeding is a direct threat to life on Earth and should be punished by sterilization of both parents. The first stop any migrant should be forced to make when moving to a new country in search of a better life should be the sterilization clinic available at every border crossing in every country. My decision to get myself sterilized at age 22 before letting any of these little planet-nibbling bundle of joy cancer cells out of the oven was the single best decision, bar none, that I have ever made in my life with no second place in sight. Every breeder on the planet should minimally be required to pay a hefty nuisance tax, and it goes without saying that bringing a child onto this shithole collapsing planet at this point is committing child abuse as well as ecocide. There you go. And, uh, anyway, now that I have shared that comment, uh, I will stop preaching to the choir. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to go, uh, <laughs> you, you guys need to see what my tomato crop looks like. I'm going to go out to the garden and show you the tomato crop. Uh, I just got back from there. So these are, you know, I just had one bag with me. So... <laughs> These are the tomatoes that I just picked. Uh, 
and uh, it is quite hilarious what my tomato patch looks like. I'll have to bring you a report. This is what the flower patch looks like. It bugs in a jar. Man, look at this date. Look at on this day. My God.